there's two tiers of it. This lower tier completely flooded out. The upper tier on higher ground, it's you know structurally intact. There are components that got wet that we're gonna have to very, very carefully test. Uh, but this lower parcel is gonna have to be completely rebuilt. That's gonna take three to four months. And there's no way we can keep customers waiting that long for their power to be restored. So that's why we have this mobile substation, which, you know, 200,000 pounds, uh, but we got it here from Gardner, North Carolina. Uh, it arrived yesterday. They are now, you can see them building a new trench right next to it where there's copper wire being laid down. It'll be underground to keep people safe. Um, but that will allow us to turn power back on to the customers supported by this substation while we rebuild it entirely. And about how many customers is that? So this substation is, is kind of the, the log jam right now for 6,700 customers. Uh, once we get this restored and we think we'll be able to have that mobile substation hooked up, tested and ready to go uh, by this weekend, that's you know, another 6,700 customers who get their power back.